So you start Unified. Yeah. Are you just cold call? Unify. Call- unify. Unify. Are you just cold calling people who you already knew, you already had relationships with? Like, hey, this is what I'm thinking of doing? To a degree, um, yes. I definitely thought about, okay, who do I know? Who do I know who manages a business? Mm. Okay, let me see if they have social media. Oh, they have it. Oh, they have it, but it fucking sucks. Or, oh, they don't even have it at all. So then I would go meet with that business. And, I mean, I'm going to make it sound simple, but it's definitely been a lot of trial and error learning which businesses are the best to work with. Um, and... Uh, would go to that business. So you, you're them. saying you've been ripped off here and there? Yeah, I've been fucked around, ripped off. Welcome to the uh, club. Met bad businesses. Yeah. Had had people do me dirty. Had people just not fully understanding of what maybe social media is. Where I've had all types of shit. Happen. Like uh, unrealistic expectations, maybe. Even if you set the expectations realistically, they still had unrealistic expectations. Uh, that's that's huge. Yeah. People, Do you think that the that the car salesman thing helped you in terms of closing deals with some of these new clients when you started oh, yeah. Unify? Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely, the car sales helped. It helped me be really comfortable with making large large transactions and being uncomfortable yeah right yeah it can be just as uncomfortable um the sales aspect i mean especially in 2017 a huge thing was business owners didn't understand social media so my first aspect was i needed for them to fully understand what social media was why you need it why it's so important and this is how i can help you with your social media and being able to connect those dots for business owners was definitely tough at the at the get-go because as business owners should be they want to know bottom line what's the fucking bottom line what's my roi yeah if you know if we do a three-month contract what am i going to get in return Am I going to see a 15% spike in sales? Right. How am I going to offset this outlay? And the thing about social media, which I'm sure you know this, there's a lot of good it does, but there's a lot of good that's hard to track. Mm -hmm. A lot of intrinsic. Yeah. It's there, but it's real ethereal. Right. Like, you know there's a groundswell building, but you can't really measure it. Right. It's like... uh, one comparison I use is kind of like having a billboard on the side of the highway. Yeah, like it's it's going to make an impact. It's going to be seen by a lot of people, mm-hmm. and it's good that it's doing that. But you don't know. Someone could look at that. Someone could look at Jess Marshall podcast on <laughs> a on a big ass billboard, right? Which would be sick. It would. And people, my head's big enough. It would fill the billboard. <laughs> So I'd be good to go. Yours is too, man. Fucking love it. Oh, fuck yeah. I might need Ham two. Ham planet. I might need two. Boom. Boom. I want to get one of those big universal, uh, like the earth. That'd be Yeah. Awesome. But anyways, they could see that. Who knows? Are they going to like it? Maybe. Maybe not. Are they going to? Are they going to maybe do some research that's behind the scenes? Maybe, oh, they saw something on their phone. Now they're lo- searching something on their computer in regards to what is this podcast or how do I search yeah. it or what is this insert a business hard to They're, measure the conversion rate sometimes right because you kind of have to be everywhere all the time to be relevant yep which is really uh, intimidating for some small business owners because they're like what are you talking about I got to be everywhere all the time I just got to make payroll on Friday yeah that's all I can care about right now that's where a guy like you steps into the gap and goes here's what I'm gonna do for you Let's start small and do 90 reels over 30 days, three a day, get you going. We'll shoot them for you. We'll edit them up for you, get them going. Yep. And then let's start to see what that starts to – is that kind of how you ease people into it? Because a lot of people probably have a hard time making that investment to start with. Yeah. Well, especially – so when I first started uh, doing Unify full-time, reels weren't even a thing. I mean, they've – 
they've taken over and they're as you you know it's it is the thing it's if the you currency. don't have reels you're not standing out nope whether you like it or not whether you don't want to give in to the fucking ticky tock theme <laughs> ticky tock reels are here reels are part of our modern world they ain't going nowhere they ain't going nowhere nope. and get a little creative fucking post a reel no doubt why man. not um, so, uh, when I started, we didn't have reels. We had, uh, it was just posts and you could still comment and like, um, a big part of my business was, well, this kind of came as I continued to learn and continued to think about, okay, how can I validate this on the bottom line? Uh, a big thing was direct messaging. I mean, that would okay. be... That would be like one prospecting of my, one of my pitches. You would, you would, uh, we're gonna send X amount of direct on messages your behalf, and we're gonna, ta- we're gonna, it's gonna be me typing them, right? I'm gonna make sure I know you, I know what you like, I know your voice, I know your voice, know your business. So, I'm you're, gonna connect you're, them. you're, uh, prospecting on their behalf through DM. That's what I, that's how it kind of started. That's when I started getting some steam. Apple, if you want one. I appreciate it, brother. Um, Here to help. I fucking love it. Here to help mentality. And then, um, yeah, that was the thing that really solidified in my mind. Okay, the messaging aspect, that can provide ROI value to almost any business. But what businesses are best to work with? And this is like summarizing some of my conclusions over the past five years. But eventually I learned, okay, if I'm going to send these direct messages, custom crafted, hey, Jess, saw you played rugby, fucking, or not fuck it. <laughs> hey, Jess, <laughs> saw you played rugby. I'd like that. I'd be like, what's up, bro? Dude, I'm fucking in. Yeah. I'm what are you out. selling? I'm buying, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh. I I worked with a band. I worked with, at the start, a nonprofit. I worked with a apparel company. And then eventually I started to realize, okay, we're getting some results. But each time these people are making a sale, they are, which I'm giving away the secret sauce. <laughs> if you're in the social media industry wanting to do social management. If I'm doing these messages, making helping make sales wouldn't i want to make sales for the companies that you know have larger revenue per deal sure you sell a concert ticket for 15 dollars. you sell a fucking car a roof thousands of dollars exactly you sell a new smile thousands of dollars yes thousands of dollars in lifetime value from that patient so I, I decided, okay, I'm going to focus on higher ticket businesses, and I'm going to partner with them and just be a team player. 